Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Rekteri Amano Agara Arri. Um, tonight, episode a six of our little Monogatari show. I am aware this is the finale of this arc, all right? This is the arc finale of, I think this, not a Monogatari. I assume this is the end of that. So, should be exciting. I'm excited to see how this wraps up. Um, couple things. Let me just go down the agenda. A, I'm in a new location. I know it's really echoey. I'm working on it. Do you like my dentist's office? The blank wall? Yeah, it's a work in progress, okay? Um, but you know, I, I'm already, and then this is leading us into B on the agenda. I'm three weeks late, I think. Is it three or is it two? I don't know. Time goes fast. Um, but yeah, I know episode seven just came out today and I'm about to watch episode six and there's also a 6.5. So I'm going to watch six now and then 6.5 and seven at the same time, probably within the week and then hopefully be somewhat fast when eight comes around. I know none of y'all trust me. But that's okay, I don't need your trust. Um, because I trust myself. Whoa, wow, only you can save yourself. Shout out Oshino. Um, but yeah, okay, so episode five, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let me just boom. Comments. This is the comments for episode five, except, I, like I said, I, I, the, or I didn't even say this. Yeah, last episode got deleted. It got deleted off of YouTube, and I got a copyright warning that basically said, like, if you mess up again, where you're getting a strike, and if I get too many strikes, the channel goes poof, gone, gone into the wind, like mist, like it was never even there in the first place. So that's cool. Um, you can, see, I'm not even going to talk about it. I, if you want, I, I, I talk about it at the beginning of the re-upload here, so you can go look at that if you want. Um, but that means that comment wise, we really aren't going to have any, like much at all. Uh, I guess I can like, I mean, what do people say here? Can't believe that pink went to the, to jail for plagiarism. It's so over it. Yeah. I'm out on bond right now. Um, <laughs> Okay, and then this is another thing. The 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 Onodoki betrayal theory. I'll talk about that in a minute when I get when we when we actually pull up the episode because like like listen, did I go off the deep end? Maybe. Do I do that often? Of course. Am I ashamed? No. Am I in fact maybe a little proud? I think I am. Uh because guess what? I even I foreshadowed it. I foreshadowed it. Remember when I was talking about there was the comment in here about how like answer. maybe like the Nadeko's um, the Nadek right here, right? Maybe the Nadekos, uh, or like there was like a big twist. This comment like tried to predict a twist. Um, but it even said, and the comment said, feel free to laugh at me when they're all wrong. And I replied, oh, don't worry. We're here for the love of the cooking. It's for the love of the cooking, man. For the love of the cook, you know? So when I go off on my freaking nonsense rambling, that's part of the formula, okay? If I was scared to cook, I wouldn't be here. If I was scared to, to cook a bad meal, I wouldn't have become a chef, all right? Because to break an egg, you gotta crack an omelet. To make an omelet, you gotta break a few eggs, right? So yeah, basically that's what's going on there. I'll, I'll talk about that though a little bit. Um, Pink was cooking so hard that his cooking prestiged and reset to level one with the Onanoki betrayal theory. YouTube then stepped in to help our legendary cube person from getting too many hate comments by deleting the video, yeah? Don't worry, he has already reached level 100 cooking again with his two week break. <laughs> he was on the grind. Er, <sighs> is this the best comment of all time? I mean, that's for you to decide. It, it's got it all. It, it, see, I like, it's the right mentality. It's like positive, but it really says it all, right? Onanoki betrayal theory is level one cooking. Um, <laughs> there, there were hate comments that I didn't even read. The YouTube video got deleted uh, and there was a two week break. And that's just crazy, isn't it? Um, but yes, I am alive. This I got clarified to me. Fun fact, I literally, right after I finished recording episode five, I went into the Discord, shout out the Discord, link in the description. Um, I went into the Discord to, like, because I edit in the Discord sometimes and, like, talk with people. And I was like, hey, am I crazy? I feel like I feel like I did not get this, right? And that, I immediately went to them and was like, just clarify this for me because I'm kind of, I feel like I'm lost, right? Immediately they were like, yeah, okay, it's not that, right? So don't worry, okay? That's the thing. We're good. Um, bing bong bong bing bong 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 Bing bong bong bing bong bong bing bong 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 Just more recycled content from Lazy Cubed. Sad. Donald Trump t is tweeting on my video. All right, hurt. But yeah, um, let's just look into the last episode, okay? So, last episode. Let me get my, uh, my little headphones on. <laughs> um, let me start with this whole thing, which was the thing that <laughs> I forgot. There's a bunch of naked Nadecos just like walking around. <laughs> Uh, it's so funny. Um, but uh, let me explain my thought process for how I got confused here. Um, so that I can, because might as well, right? What confused me most was the cut to this, 
right? Because what happens here is it, it does a like a, um, a chapter cut. So it's like the start of a new chapter and then Onanoki standing here. This shot to me reads like sudden change, right? Because there's this very dramatic lighting and it's like a stare down, right? And so in what's actually happening, and I'm here to, you know, I'm willing to say, is that this is, okay, now we're starting to fight with God okay. Nadeko. But I didn't, when I, when, since I was still coming off of the Nadeko conversation here, I was thinking, okay, well, we're fighting something. What are we fighting? And then Nadeko was in front, I thought Nadeko was in front of her, bam right? So this, this shot, the intention behind it, which is very much a, you know, sudden change, something's about to happen, right? It's like a, it's a pretty dramatic shot. I was like, okay, something dramatic's about to happen. And then she just swung. And so my instincts tell me, okay, she just swung on the deco because I thought the deco was right there. Um, but no, there's a, there's a little mini time skip here. Uh, and well, and then when I was like thinking about it more, um, you might be thinking, okay, well, the deco literally says, I can count on your unlimited rule book, right? So it's like, you know, is, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, why did she, we know she only has one use of her hand ability, Onanoki, right? She can only do the unlimited rule book one time. Um, and that was a very that was made very clear right here. And so Nadeko says I can count on it, right? Which is like okay, Nadeko is planning to use this at some point. And so that's what confused me is then it just they made the plan. We didn't get to see them make the plan, and then Onanoki uses it. And so in reality, yes, this is Nadeko's plan in action. Whatever's happening here, but what does this accomplish? Like it, it doesn't make sense. It didn't make sense to me, and I guess it still doesn't make sense to me what this is supposed to accomplish because we're using our one use abil ability. So I expect it to be like for a great benefit. Um, it's not to like find God Nadeko because God Nadeko, we already have the hand. We already know which direction she is. So we don't need to find her, right? Um, I think the plan probably is like clear a path, but like, I mean, it's just a corridor. It's not like there's a bunch of the Nadekos walking around. So it could be like, but like, look, it's a straight path straight to God Nadeko. So it's not like there's a barrier in the way that we're breaking. I think the, the reason is probably clear out a bunch of the Nadecos and like maybe distract or something. But at the moment I was like, what a waste of our ability. Like this didn't do anything, right? It just made a mess of the place. And it didn't like, if, if, if the intention was to kill all of the meek Nadecos and like get them out of the way, then that was a bad use of the ability because you gotta you got have them clump up, you know? There's still like 20 of them walking around like right here, you know? If, if like, so if we wanted to kill the meek Nadecos to like, you know, even the playing field, then you gotta be like, hey, Aragi's over here. And then they'll all come running over and then you go, wham, you know? That, that would make more sense. That would have made more sense to me. But since I didn't really like, in the moment, and I still am not entirely sure what Nadeko's planning here. I mean, maybe she's like sneaking around and got Nadeko and then she can jump out from the rubble and be like, paper cut, you know? I don't know. Oh no, she was doing something with Wrath Nadeko, remember cutting her hair? So maybe there's gonna be like a double fake out of like, oh, Wrath Nadeko is running up and God Nadeko thinks Wrath Nadeko is real Nadeko, but then real Nadeko is actually inside of Wrath Nadeko. <laughs> that would not make any sense. <laughs> bro, she freaking chest bursts outside of herself, bro. That'd be kind of lit. I mean, she is made of paper. Oh shit, body suit Nadeko. Okay, anyways. um, But yeah, since this didn't really seem to accomplish anything for our sake, for, or for like Nadeko's sake, for like the sake of our protagonist, I was like, well then, and, and it was a one use ability that led me to believe like, okay, well then it must not be important for, it must not be trying to help our protagonist, in which case it's gotta be trying to hurt the protagonist, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. Though it actually, you know, it's really funny. Um, the shogi metaphor, remember when I talked about the shogi metaphor? So obviously that doesn't make any sense in the context I used it, but it's so, that's one of the fun things about such an abstract show is that you can come up with a, a completely insane theory, right? Um, and theory is not even the word I would like to use because the entire time I was like, this doesn't make any sense. So I was trying to like rationalize, I was trying to make it make sense, right? So it's not like, like, I feel like I was on the defense there as opposed to the attack, you know? Where like a theory, you know what I mean? Whereas like, I saw something, it didn't make sense, and I was trying to figure out a way it would make sense, as opposed to just making shit up, you know? Um, so, I don't know, that's, the word theory is a little weird, but what's so interesting about a show like this is that you can have something like that, which is kind of, like, not the case at all, right? Um, but you can look at a bunch of metaphors and kind of make it work a little bit, right? You can kind of, like, make insanity sound less insane because it's so abstract, you know? Um, 
Because I really did like that little show. You think it'd be like, oh, using your own your own thing against you. And honestly, it, it still works actually with the show. You could interpret that like, oh, that's what Nadeko's doing with Wrath Nadeko and with Flirty Nadeko, right? She's captured those pieces and now she's using them on her side, right? So last episode, I was trying to apply that to Onanoki, trying to make it make sense. Um, we're scrapping all of that because we don't need it, but you can still use the Shogi metaphor for Nadeko because that's what Nadeko's doing with the other Nadekos, right? Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. That's just the fun thing about something about interpretation, you know? But it's all about the love of the interpreting, right? It's all about the love of the game, all right? Because if I didn't like playing the game, I wouldn't be here. And sometimes I like winning, but man, I, like, I just like playing sometimes. I know you, you don't want to try hard too much. You're going to tear the fun out of it. You know what I mean? This guy's just coping about being wrong. <laughs> I wish I was right. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, m -m 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 I'm going to murder you. You tell her. You tell her. But yeah, so the god has spoken thus. Thus spoke Nadeko. Whoa! Thus spoke Nadeko. Written by Nadeko. Holy reference. But yeah, um, otherwise, this was a really good part in this episode with Flirty Nadeko and the Promise. Um. Did they hope to keep promise to yourself? And then the. Did, did, did they cut to this? Don't they cut to this? Hit me with it. Hit me with it. That, this is a good cut, bro. That's that type of mon- That's what I'm looking for, Monogatari. Give me some more of that. Give me- You know what? Give me some more of this. Okay, let's go to the um, episode. A little bit of a short intro, but that's okay, because we're, you know, it's actually- This is the first time I've recorded since, what, like two weeks? I think it's been two weeks since I've recorded anything. Um, and it's been a long two weeks. It's been a very long two weeks for me. Oh, she's giving me some water! Um, so I am excited to, you know, get back and do it a little bit here. <laughs> Oh, I did give it a water. You know what? I'm actually gonna get a water bottle. Oh, thank you, Nadeko. Like Nadeko was just over there. Uh, uh, thank you, Nadeko. I appreciate that. Mmm. Mm. Get yourself a drink. Get yourself a snack. Um, as Nadeko commands. Uh, what's gonna happen here? Uh, um, I think we're gonna have resolution. I'm really, what I'm curious about is what God Nadeko's like thing is gonna be. Is it just murder, you know? Is it just that kind of like power, hungry, freaking like prideful whatever-ness or is there gonna be something else, right? Um, is it like, oh, I'm too good for this, you know? That kind of like naivete that I was talking about previously. Uh, is that gonna be kind of God Nadeko's thing or is there gonna be like another layer? Cause I feel like each of the other Nadeko's have kind of had like another layer you could like tear into and get some like juice out of. So, I'll be curious to see how God Nadeko deals with that. Meek Nadeko kind of feels like she's off the table. She's just kind of a pawn for God Nadeko. Rip those theories, all right? Rest in peace, but let's just jump into episode six. It should be very, very exciting. The finale of our little arc here in a three, a two, a one. Bam. Oh, shoot. Wait, do I have my subtitles on and all that? What was the scene? Might have to restart. Start spitting. Start spitting at me. Damn. Presents. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, that was crazy. I didn't. Yo! They're better. Are my stuff on? They haven't said anything yet. Oh, they were off. Okay, now they're on. Yo, go, 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 jump. Hey, hey. Wait, how many are there? Are there only two? There's only two, yeah? Okay, there's only two. It could be both Flirty and Wrath, honestly. Ooh, big dodge. Just kidding, it's homing. Oh wow, did it, it really didn't work there. Uh. Okay, so was that... The question is, is this real Nadeko that this is being thrown at right now? No, that's gotta... Mm. Damn! Sorry? <laughs> She's scary, bro. Dang, she looks like an episode there. Doesn't that look just like episode?
Ah, uh, that looks like blood. I'm gonna be honest. No, okay, that was paper. All right, we're good. So did she draw more or was that... F oh, she might have just drawn more. That'd be crazy. Oh, was she... Wait, was she doing the nude strat? Damn! <laughs> Yo! Wait, that's kind of... Yo. Wait, she just got him right away in the intro. Wait, that was crazy. She blended in. That's smart. Okay, that was a good little plan. I can I can respect that. Wait, we're already done. We just beat it. Wait, what? Well, now what? <laughs> I was like expecting that to be the entire episode, but we're already done. All right. Good job, Nadeko. See, that, dude, that's the crazy thing, bro. If the episode went on 15 seconds more last episode, then I wouldn't have been any confused at all, right? Because it immediately would have been like made sense. That's really funny. <laughs> like it's already, yeah, it was like, ooh, okay. Bro, but that run up, that was like, um, that was like track star, bro. It looked like she was like jumping hurdles, you know? So yeah, I think that was flirty and wrath. I don't think she drew any more, though she could have, but I, I assume that was flirty and wrath. Um, right, because she had both of them. Oh, no, no, wait, flirty died. Flirty died. What am I? I'm tripping. Wait, so she drew she drew another then. Okay. Sorry, so sorry. I forgot that Flir Flirty got crushed by the bookshelf, bro. My fault, my fault, Flirty. <laughs> and she could have drawn another Flirty. <laughs> more Flirties, please. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so I think she probably drew more. Maybe she, um... I don't know, she had paper. Okay. I should probably, they're probably about to yap about it. Wow, I'm surprised it's... I'm su what are they about to do, bro? What are they about to do? Alright, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Did you get access to paper? What'd you want? Mm, she drew her own outfit. That's true and scary. Oh, yeah. Dang, Nadeko's strong, bro. Right, and that was the, the finger. The distraction. Oh, and them running up, I guess. Okay, yeah, so that was- Wrath was the one that knocked it aside. Okay, so she drew another one. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, yeah, you weren't supposed to do that. Wait. Weren't you- yeah, no, 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 can you say something about that? Okay, a bigger path. Okay, fair enough. うん。結局この私にして、あの私ありだったのでしょう。お前は髪なでことは明確に違うと僕は思うけれどね。違うというより変わったと言うべきなのかもしれないけれど、一番リスクを犯したのはお前だ。それは間違いない。but you're the real thing. True. You trauma. You tell them, Onanoki. It's my fault, Onanoki, for thought you were thinking you were crazy last episode. That's my fault. I'll let it slide. <laughs> I'll let myself slide. Aww. That was a good... Uh, your... the, the affirmation of her character growth there. まあ、大役になった式紙たちの供養がしたいのなら、この経験をその気持ちを
Oh, people are about to run in, yeah. ここから先の現実的な労働はプロだけの領域だ。はっきり言ってお前はもう。だからこそ呼ばれてる方へ行ってやれ、なでこい。戦国なでこ。お前には。Oh, a, ne a ne deco flower. That was cute. The the petal like spelled out in the deco. That was cool. Is that Araragi? My go. Oh, yes, yeah, it's Ogi. Dan Ogi said he was gonna get transportation. Damn it. I forgot what Araragi's car looked like. I got excited, bro. I want to see my boy, bro. I guess I kind of am, but... Yeah, what, what happened? What, what you been up to? What you been up to? You're scaring me. It's you. Yeah, you're the one. <laughs> True. Man, I'm kind of freaked out right now. Where are we going, Mr. Donuts? Oh, we're driving past it. ね。昔私のこと被害者って言ったんです。実際その通りだったと思います。だけど、あの頃の私が被害者でいるのが楽ちんだったのも確かなんです。She's talking about it. I mean, this is what Uki's good for, yeah. Kind of getting people to like talk. Ooh, each of the waves corresponded to one of the words there. That's cool. だけど Shut up, She's trying to take some responsibility for how others treated her. Which I think is fair. Yeah. Where like previously she didn't take any responsibility. So, there's, there's a healthy balance. Ooh, ooh. ただ、彼女は他の this music is really kind of hidden right now. Oh, so, oh, so she didn't have to do anything. She could, like, leech. Zam, wait, wait! That's kind of crazy. Do you think they're... Who was the main body? Yeah, who... Where's the main one? Are we going to her, maybe? Where are we going? Yo, wait! I thought, they, I thought we gave up on this theory! Whoa, 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 whoa! Like, a twist! What she want to do? Holy crap. I Okay, they got me, bro. Well, Ganadeka was Ganadekaing. Or, or, or not really. What, what, what did she try to do? Please just, just tell me. No, you're the one that knows, Nadeka. <laughs> yeah, okay, so she is still alive. Okay, cool, cool, cool. 
Which is where Oki's driving us right now. A one way street. Scary? She's doing something not noble. Yo! I, okay, this is so exciting. Ooh, what a great shot that was. Where are we? Are we. Sinjigahara. <gasps> oh, are we addressing Sinjigahara? Oh. We have to deal with this. That thing that she was. She even ran away from it earlier this. No? Wait, what? Wait, wait, did I just get duped? You little. No, no. What? Why do we have to go there? You. Nadeko, please! I can't handle it. <laughs> You're making me look like a fool. Oh, there she is. Okay. I was about to say, like, I guess that kind of makes sense. I don't know. I don't have time! What's going on? Aw, she's cute. Okay, she's chilling. Yeah, Meek Nadeko's passive. Why would Meek Nadeko try to go kill someone? She wanted to she wanted to stand around and wait for Odoraki to run into her. Yeah? Gotta grow up. Ooh, good shot. Sorry. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that felt like a tear that time a little bit. You gonna give her up? Okay. Oh, ずっと同じ場所にいるなんて誰にもできないんだよ。中学2年生にも高校3年生にも神様にも吸血鬼にもそんなことをしていたら誰もいなくなっちゃうんだよ。永遠に待っていても。白馬の王子様が迎えに来てはくれないし、ガラスの靴は届けられないし、スーツのネタふりをしていても、キスで起こしてくれたりしない。だから、こんなところでいつまでも待ってないで、みんなのところに戻ろう。みんながあなたを待
No, she put it behind her ears. That's so sweet. Oh, the wind blew it back. <laughs> and then she put it back herself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh... That shit was so good, dude. I was about to say, this, oh, oh, this episode was short, but there's an entire chunk afterward, bro. Look at this. There's another, t like, eight minutes. My goodness. Um, yeah, that really hit. That really hit, bro. Uh, this, see, I, don't, I feel like for a minute there, I forgot why I watch shows, you know? I feel like I, like, I forgot, like, why, you know? What's the point of even, like, engaging with media? And so it's really nice that, like, this episode was so good because I feel like I kind of got that back a little bit. Ugh. Which is, oh, and that's so good because that's exactly what Nadeka wants to do, too, so it's narratively in the story, you know? Because she wants to, like, turn her memories into, like, a story for other people. And so it's like, I don't know. That got me feeling it again. That got me feeling, like, the, the purpose of a story again, right? Where, like, for a while I feel like that's kind of gone away. I don't know, I'm kind of vague posting. But that really, that really worked for me. Uh, I'm really excited to scroll through that again. Man, I'm glad. I'm so glad that... Bro, she bought time just to wait around. I'm so glad we got past God Nadeko quickly, because Meek Nadeko freaking schmacked. As well as a prologue. Talk of the future that will someday become a memory. That's so fitting! Alright, spit. What's up? I like that egg dropping to like let her let us know she just came in. Oh, you covered for that. Okay. <laughs> it was her. She probably didn't mean anything bad. Yeah, that's like not helpful. <laughs> yeah, it was her. <laughs> oh, the stove is off. She's asleep now. All right, good night. Oh, hi, Shinobu. Why are you? Why are you here? Oh, that, okay. As an oddity of blood is goaded, because I under I already understood why she. That was such a smart thing to say. <laughs> She's saying, I know it's kind of cringe, but like I'm here now. <laughs> Aww, she got a little present. Mr. Donut. Think she's being, yeah. Aww. Oh, she said, I've been there, bro. Let's talk, let's talk shop. Make me some donuts, bro. Make me some donuts, bro. <laughs> Is it good? Reminds me of a actually mob psycho fun fact. That's actually a funny, really random cross comparison. I won't go into it, but.
You know, on the snake like body pillow thing, or like not body pillow, but like pillow. Wait, the alien, that random alien that got like a passport is there. That meme. Why was the dude? There was a that was so weird. <laughs> Wasn't it literally Wasn't that literally what Shinobu said a while ago? I don't I somehow felt deflated, but just like that, I felt like my curse had been lifted. That's her saying no, no, that's not the case. Yeah, she's saying that's foolish talk. You don't gotta sweat that. You don't gotta sweat that, Nadeko. You're good. Dummy. <laughs> Dang, she just put mad respect on Adeko's name. Yeah, she just called her a great star. That was cool how they did that to show Shinobu going into it. With like the hex code almost. Yeah, that was really sweet. So Kiki came here just to be a delivery for Shinobu without knowing it. That's funny. Why are you here now? <laughs> We're getting jumped by all of the characters, bro. Oh, Bob Skulls! What's up? What's up, Onanoke? Kind of call you that? Yeah, clean up went well. Ooh, okay. Plot hook for an, a future arc, maybe? Aww. Nadeko the specialist? Wow, the good ending. Try again. Oh, the four pop schools. Oh, to prove yourself. Oh, okay. And so that I could take it easy. I feel like you're coping now. <laughs> you just want to chill, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it the winner? It's the winner! We got it, bro. Oh, and so she did get a job, like her parents. Like her parents were kind of telling her to do, kind of. But obviously that was like a roundabout thing, but... Yeah. That's funny. Mm. Serpent Barrier? Oh my goodness, is there a star constellation they just referenced? That's crazy. Dang, the deck of the specialist! Yo! When there's a snake, there'll always be a ladder! It's <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That is, dude, they did not just... Whoa! Okay, 6.5 just tried to just start... Well, okay, no, we're not watching 6.5. I gotta talk about 6, bro. I gotta talk about 6. They did not just end it with a snake and ladder joke. That is so funny. Okay, yeah, that episode was goaded. That was really good, bro. Um, Yeah, that was so heartfelt, man. I feel like, bro, 
when did I stop talking? I feel like I stopped talking, like, probably right here. I feel like... Did I have, like, five minutes straight up just, like, dead silence? It felt like that. It, I felt like I just hit something, bro. Oh, man, all my... That means my subtitle bars won't work. But, yeah, man, it was, like... There was so much good. Let me just... Let me just go from the beginning. So, this was... She drew another one. Wasn't there an entire thing about her not... You're not supposed to activate two familiars at a time? Or am I... I might be misremembering. Um, I won't go into that because it didn't end up being a problem. But I kind of thought that was a thing. Um... So, and that exactly happened. So I'm a little, you know, I, I don't know. I'll worry about that later. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll dig into that later if I want. But this is more important. Um, plan makes sense. I like the plan. Drew a Nadeko, throw in Wrath Nadeko. I, I knew it was Wrath Nadeko, the second one. Um, though I kind of hesitated a little because of the blood. But when she knocked aside the spear, right? Because it was thrown at her and she like batted it out the window and she was, looked all angry. It's like, okay, that's Wrath Nadeko, which then leads you to guess, okay, well, the first Nadeko was paper, which means the first Nadeko had to be another Nadeko. Uh, and then it was the drawing. Not Flirty. Flirty's already dead. My fault. Right. Um, and then blending it in is a really fun strat. So I can, I can appreciate that the idea of like, okay, we're using the finger to cause chaos and give a diversion so that she can jump in. So I like the plan. Good plan. Um, what's even funnier is that the plan, honestly, who cares, right? In a crazy way, who cares? The, the show really said, God Nadeko, five minutes. Meek Nadeko, that's where the action's at. That's, that's kind of how I feel like, which was cool because it was like, you know, I feel like dude, I was getting baited back and forth with Meek Nadeko this entire time, right? Where I was thinking, yeah, Meek Nadeko Mastermind. Meek Nadeko. I was talking about that and then it was like, oh, she just got used as a blueprint for mass production. And then I gave up on the theory. And then they reel me back in, bro. They reel me back in. And then Ogi, like, and then it's a troll. And it almost is like, I, I felt like they reeled us in. And then they almost let us go again right here. Right here, bro. Where it was like the music's all, you know, it's like, oh, this is exactly it. She smiles. Of course not, dumbass. I was like, no. I was like, don't do this to me. <laughs> you know, I can't be the guy that's like, yeah, Meek Nadeko, I'm feeling it. This makes sense again. And then get fucking the rug pulled, bro. So this felt like a, like a, almost like a false rug pull where it was like Ogi went on and on and on. And then I'm thinking, okay, this makes enough sense, I guess. Um, the, the murder thing really didn't make that much sense because like, I was, I guess I was, I was a little, I think the thought I had was like, I guess Senjo was a romantic rival. So I guess that makes sense. But I, I was kind of like, just following what Ogi was saying, which I guess, you know, that's maybe not a good idea. How many times did I just say I guess? Like three? Anyways. But yeah, but the, the call it of like, Ogi, you little rat, this is the wrong place is really funny. Um, and Ogi's like, damn, damn, chill. <laughs> and I, I felt like a little channeled wrath here. It kind of felt like a channeling wrath a little bit, um, which makes sense because that's been like immersed into her. But yeah, the top, and then, dude, Meek Nadeko, the best part about the Meek Nadeko thing was that she didn't force it on Meek Nadeko. It was up to Meek Nadeko to make the step. Because Meek Nadeko's entire thing was inaction, right? It was that passivity. And so to convince her to be active was so, like, sweet, bro. Um, she didn't have to, like, slap her with paper like the others, right? And so that, that was really nice to me. And then, like... She bought all this time and masterminded all this shit just so that she could stand here and wait for Araragi when he's not even in the building. That is like such a, that is such a good way to depict like that, that like, that dumb heartbreak. I think that's how Nadeko later described it when talking about the manga a little bit. Or cute heartbreak, I think she said cute. But that cute little love struck puppy energy of just like, brother, Nadeko, he's not here. And if you stay here, you're never gonna be with him or with anyone, right? Uh, like, it kind of, dude, it kind of reminds me of, of I, I forget the, like the end of Kiyomi Reverse, right? Where it was Senju Gahara leaping into the future with Araragi, right? That scene was so good. That single-handedly made probably Senju move up a tier in my tier list, bro. And I felt like it was like a it was like a spiritual successor to that, where it was like take a step into the future with me, you know. Um, and then I, the the whole idea of like I'm going to channel you, what you are, what you feel, and I'm not going to waste that. I'm not going to let that disappear. I'm going to channel it into this piece of art 
you know, as like a catalog for memory and as a way to inspire others. <laughs> you've done right by yourself and you've made it into a way to help others, bro. That's such a win. That's the best thing, bro. Because I think step one in life should always be yourself, but step two should always be others because that's just goaded, is it not? But if you can perfect yourself, not perfect, that's don't perfect, it's impossible to perfect, better yourself, and then if you can bring that onto others, that's so good, right? So that, I just, I really love that. I really love so much they did here, bro. I feel like I need to just rewatch all this. I think Meek Nadeko is my favorite out of the four. This scene with her was so good. He's not here anymore. Oh. The music. I don't know what track they're playing, but I need it, bro. I'm turning my headphones up. It was so good. It was just like, it was so calm, man. I feel like it lulled me in. And I was literally, I remember I even when, when this shot happened, the water, I was, I had a thought of like, wow, what a beautiful pattern of water. I wonder if it like represents anything. Um, so like I had a split moment of being like, is that, I like, I thought like maybe this is like, I thought it was like a country maybe. So I was trying to like, I kind of went through like a quick geographical search in my brain and was like, what does this late, what does all this water represent? So I kind of immediately latched onto the water. Um, and then they had the really beautiful shot that's about to appear here, right here. This then, so it's crazy. I literally was in the process of thinking water. What does the water mean? And then they cut to this beautiful shot where it's a reflection of Meek Nadeko, which is like reflection into the past, right? A reflection of herself, you know, which is a very direct analogy for what these things are, what these Nadekos are, are reflections of her emotions, of her past, of herself, how she feels. How she feels about her past would probably be the best way to put it. And so this like mirror into herself like that all of that kind of came in with the water bro which is which is funny because i mean that makes it's like a, again a spiritual successor to kiyomi reverse where like the water i feel like the you know, water as a reflection into the past was kind of like a reflection into yourself rather was kind of like an entire thing i tried to cook with a few times but like i feel like like we kind of got that kind of energy again i love i love water bro water bro water in this show is doing something else ever since that freaking that thing about that uh, Kamburu's mom said about like the different types of water. I honestly would need to read it. I, I couldn't quote it to do it justice. Ever since then though, in like the waves, bro, I feel like water is an underrated analogy that the show uses like consistently, you know? Mm. And like the drops, bro. I even said, I think I said it, but like the drops were dripping but I don't know why I paused there. The drops were dripping. <laughs> okay, that's such a funny sentence. I love that sentence. The drops were dripping. The drops were dripping, but then they, uh, when it, one of them felt like a tear and I said that, right? And I think it was Meek Nadeko crying. This shot, bro. I don't know why these trees look so fire. Absolute cinema with the trees, bro. <sighs> like, I don't, dude, why does this look so enchanting? Uh, the music, bro, it remind honestly, it reminded me of Undertale music. Random, I know, but it reminded me of Undertale music. Oh, and you can hear, like, the creaking of the wood a little bit. Oh, that brings me in. Waiting here won't do you any good. They, I thought these shots were so good. Because I, I said it's seasonal, right? It felt very seasonal. So Mikinadeko would have been spring, right? Or... This is spring petal, uh, peach peach blossoms come in spring, and then summer with flirty Nadeko. Fall with wrath Nadeko. It was seasons. Oh, I'm so glad. I, okay, that's so cool, bro. The seasons of Nadeko, bro, and then it goes winter for God Nadeko. Yeah, I only really thought about it with the first, the last two. So it's cool that that's that's exactly what they were going for, and it, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad that that hit. Even if I if. If I kept pining, like pining for attention, yeah. Uh, yeah, the music was the music gets me, bro. Yeah, and I I really love how it was like Meek Nadeko's counter argument, and we're about to get into it. Was like, doesn't this mean something to you, right? It was it was like an emotional like like it was like. It almost felt like you have a duty to these feelings, you know, something like that. 
right? You like, oh, it, like, don't you love him? Don't you feel these things? Don't, uh, I'm, I'm so sad that you lost this, this thing that brought me so much joy, you know? So it's, it really, I can totally see why that would feel like a defeat. And then for Nadeka, current Nadeka to be like, yes, but that I want to love again. Like, oh. I'm just gonna, I just gotta rewatch like all this. Oh, and the light's red. Later in the shot, it goes green. This one, I'm sorry, this one, this was a tear, bro. This was a tear, and they've been playing with it over and over, but this time when she's looking down and says, sorry, you know it's a tear, and then we see her crying later, so I think it really is. Facts. To live is to change. You tell on Nadeko. You tell you, Nadeko. If you did, I, uh, this was such a good point. Like, like because it's she's saying you can't do this, but it's like you you could. It just I think you could, but it, it means that everybody would leave you, and then it's like then what are you waiting around for? You know, because she's waiting for somebody that's not there, and so she's calling that out of, as being like a like if you want to wait, you're gonna be left behind. And then the, the this is great the fairy tale references. You know, you're not gonna have your prince charming. You're not gonna have your uh, Snow White. Uh, or Cinderella, and then is Snow White the one that the freaking apple bite it? <sighs> that one. I love the fairy tale turn. And then yeah, cause ooh stories, bro. It they that's like a, ooh it's crazy, bro. It's such an it's like an undertone, bro. It's a it's a a um a river underneath, bro. A, a subcurrent, right? A subcurrent current of this entire conversation is the importance of like storytelling, right? Because current Nadeko, she wants to channel this into her own story, into her own manga, right? Her own creation. And the very thing that she's referencing of like, you can't do are stories. She's bringing up the three, three fairy tales there. So it's like, you could almost think that Mika Nadeko read those stories, enjoyed those stories, internalized those stories and became that, right? And so it's almost like this crazy thing of like, to be turned into the manga, it becomes full circle because it's like from whence those fairy tales of a, a beautiful prince coming to you and you just stand, you just wait, right? You let, you, you know, you let life pass you by until the, the one arrives, right? Um, that whole fairy tale is the, the origin of that thought that then loops around to, at the very end, current Nadeko being like, let me turn these emotions into a story. So it, it becomes full circle with storytelling. Ugh. I also just like the, like, it's like a um, take action. It's it's a it's an what did I just kick? No, we're good. It's like a take action stance, right? Uh, where it's anti passivity. That's something that like I feel passive in my life. So I've been trying to take more actions, you know, but, you know, experiment, try things out, right? Um, like the grass might not be greener on the other side, but you should at least know what's on the other side, and then you can hop the fence back. You know what I mean? If you don't like where you go, then just go back, bro. But like experiment, jump around, try things, right? Um, that's something that I've, I've been trying to like internalize recently and like honestly struggling with. So like for like this pep talk with the deco, when I was listening to this, I was thinking to myself like, you're right, I need to keep doing that, you know? And honestly, I'm gonna be real. That's part of why I had my two to three week break there, you know, where I, I wasn't uploading for two, three weeks. I mean, I moved into a new place. Uh, I had some stuff going on, whatever. But like a large part of that was me trying to like kind of push outside my comfort zone in certain areas and force myself to be active in certain areas of my life where I've been like hopelessly inactive, right? Um, and so it's been a, I've been, I've been trying to do this and it's been hard. So for Nadeko to come in and say this all feels very like, it like makes valid those things that I've been attempting, um, which I love, right? It affirmed, it affirmed what I've been feeling for like the last little bit. So this, this, it's crazy, bro. How does the show always do this, bro? I literally, unironically, I'm gonna say it, unironically, I think Tsubasa Tiger might've like nudged the course of my life a little bit. I think Tsubasa Tiger was the, and I know this is a random jump because we're in the middle of this, this story, but Subasa Tiger was the craziest, it came at the perfect time, right? I could not imagine a better time in my life to hear that story. Um, and it really got me, it really touched me, right? I feel like I'm getting some of that same thing here where it's like, I could have I could have uh, watched this like two or three weeks ago 
um, you know, on time, get the views, you know, that kind of nonsense, right, with YouTube, uh, you know, day of, whatever. Uh, but like having waited, it like it's hitting like a lot, a, a lot harder for me, I guess. I gotta stop talking, bro. It's getting me emotional. <laughs> but yeah, this was like really good timing for me. When get, once again, I mean that's and that's the beauty of all the, of all these different stories, bro. Right? Because they're so personal and they deal with such like like crazy nuances of the human condition and like what it is to grow up. And so it's really like I'm still in the phase of my life where I'm still growing up. You know, I might be an adult, right? I'm 21 right now. But dog, I'm, I'm gonna be growing up for a long time longer, right? I don't know, I, I might be 40 and still growing up in a lot of ways, right? I probably will be. And so it's, it's there's always so, like randomly, there'll just be something so beautiful that like is like to feel seen in. And that's probably my favorite part of Monogatari. You could talk about the wordplay, you could talk about like the really insane, like stylistic decisions they make that's like really intriguing and interesting. Uh, you know, you could talk about the weird abstract way that the story is narrated and like the chronological things and all the really interesting things they, they do there. But I think like the core of why I love this show is like the character moments that I think synchronize with like the human condition really well, right? Like it, it really brings the heart of growing up and all these different feelings and all these different questions and lives them in the characters. And I love that shit. That's the heart of it for me. This was such a good counter argument, though. Oh, then you don't love him anymore, <laughs> Teko. <laughs> because it's the feelings are real, and you feel like you owe something to them, right? But it's it's like let me let me like oh my goodness like Kurt was like let me carry the emotions of my past self right let me do right by myself and or not even because it's past self but it's her current feelings about her past so let me do right by my emotions. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I don't need anything else. And if I had something else and relied on something else, then I feel like I would be like, not doing right by him, by Koyomi, bro, by Araraki, my goat. Because mo moving, yeah, to, to, to have something else would be to admit you don't love him anymore, right? Like, oh, that's crazy. That's that type of crazy, like, codependence. Like, we're really seeing the full, like, the end game of complete devotion to one thing, where it's like, you get, if you focus on anything else, then it's like, have you lost that thing that you loved, you know? Though codependence is too- that's a loaded term. Don't get rid of that term there. Strike that from the record, please. But yeah, does it not matter to you anymore? That really hit for me, right? Damn. That's like the last thing you'd want to hear from your past self, bro. Did I turn into that kind of adult? Man, my past self would think I'm lit, bro. Shout out my past self. That guy's a goat. <laughs> Love that guy. He made me what I am, bro. <laughs> uh, curse this stupid story for. Oh, I can't believe it. it. I'm not gonna lie, chat. It almost made me. It almost got me. Almost got me shedding a tear for a minute there when I was yammering. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah. Does it again. This line really got me too. I will fall in love with someone again. Ooh, no, this is the one, bro. This was even better. I will not stop loving people. Oh my goodness, bro. Because you're taking that emotion that was centered on Adoragi and you're generalizing it and making it like you like able to be replicated. So it removes. I love this because like when it's all about Adoragi, then you're stuck with him. Um, you know, for better or for worse. But if you can make it about like the ability to love, then that opens it up, right? And that, that gives you immense potential, you know? So it's like you may have lost somebody in your life that you loved with all your heart, but that means that you loved someone with all your heart and that means you can do it again because you did it once. That is such a beautiful, beautiful message. I, I love that. I will not stop loving people, bro. This shot was great too, bro. The the drops of the rain, the drops of the tears, like silhouetted and they're silhouetted like in them. I think they re repeat it with them flipped too in a second here. Yeah, 
I'll chase my dreams and I won't learn my lesson and I'll fall in love again. Yeah, so it's the same thing but flipped here. It's just so sweet, bro. Man, it almost looks like a it almost looks like a heart here, bro. My my mind is freaking tripping, but trust. This was so good. I love the pulling the hair back, and then the wind blows it, and then she puts it back again. That was so good. I felt like I lived that moment, bro. I lived that moment. This episode, because bro, this is the thing about Monogatari. It's so easy to not notice stuff because so much happens, bro. It's like I'm trying to play, like cut through like 30 lines of poetry while like the trigonomic formula is flashing on top of this thing. And I have to solve like SAT questions whenever I look up at the screen, bro. That's what it feels like to watch this show. And this episode, it all came so naturally. I mean, there's probably stuff I missed, but like, I feel like there were so many beats, like really cool visual things they did that I was there for. And I got to experience on the first try. Which is like the polar opposite of the last episode where I got confused. <laughs> but I'm never gonna stop loving cooking, chat. I'm not gonna ever stop loving cooking. Type shit. This shot, this was this was such a genius shot. This shot is so good. This is um this is show don't tell genius nonverbal storytelling, absolute peak. It flutters in front of her, and then she smiles and she puts it back up, which is an action she's taking, and it has to do with her hair, which is always something that symbolizes change with Nadeko. So she does something to her own hair to like accept it, bro. And then this shot, animation wise, this was beautiful right here. Oh. Right here. Holy dude, this song went crazy. <laughs> that was some of the oh and then the flip of the page is really good, but that that was such a beautiful little bit of animation, bro. Your cute heartbreak. Aww. It's a it's affectionate, bro. It's such an affectionate recontextualization of a sad event, which is like my favorite way to like, to turn something sad into something cute is so, that's so good, right? Because it's like, it's like, it's got affection built in. It's got like, like a care element built in, you know? So it's very like, it feels like a hug. It feels like you're like hugging like a, like a someone that's crying. That's what, that's what a cute heartbreak sounds like, you know? Yeah, and I love how it's, again, something that sparks joy in other people's hearts. Wow. The, the one of the Nadekos that she had the least respect for is the one that, like, like, she, I think, had the best meeting with, you know? Where it was like, God Nadeko had the worst meeting. You had to beat the shit out of God Nadeko. But Meek Nadeko, like, there was, like, some really beautiful common ground, you know? Aww. Nideko squad goals, bro. Man, that shot went good. The, like, the, dude, the, they really cooked with the, like, transitions in this entire arc, right? Between the different them. The different thems. And then now it's green, right? It's now it's, you can move forward. Now they're taking a step into the future. Cause up to this point, whenever they've had the like landscape shots, you could see the light, the traffic light, and it was red, it was stop. But now they decided to take a step into the future together as one, you know, and now it's green. Aw, but on this day I grew up just a little bit. Dang it, Nadeko. Why are you actually a good character, Nadeko? What? <laughs> I thought you were just the, the girl that got deep throated by the snake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, wait, God, no, 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 wait. God deep, no, no, deep throated the snake. Right, sorry, so, so, sorry. Yeah, I'm glad that this ended up being a thing too, the Meek Nadeko thing, because that was such a fun theory that people were talking about. And I felt like I, I completely gave up on it. I shouldn't have given up on it, bro. This show gave me whiplash, bro. Thinking about this show whiplashes me. I'm glad that paid off though. Cause, uh, you yeah, know, like the originary Nadeko. Also, shout out to Deca for giving me that water bottle at the beginning here. She gets me thirsty, bro. Like, for water. 
Sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, um, in the end game here, bro. Tsukihi does is not helpful at all, bro. Shinobu's way. First, okay. First off, I talked about this for like a moment here. Get your feet off my screen. Um, when she says I am like an oddity of blood or something, what'd she say? As wow, an oddity of blood. Look at me go. But like her saying, it's crazy. She said as a vampire, an oddity of blood, and immediately I think it, it just makes sense, right? Because it's like oh, blood, bloodline, blood family. What a fun connection. That's just smart. That's just creative, bro. That's such a cool way to use that, you know, to use the pieces on the board. Wait, is Shinobu like one of those funguses that like take, o take over ants and then mind control the ants to like move them to a location to like disseminate their spores? In which case, Tsukihi is the ant and Shinobu is the fungus. Shinobu is a mind control fungus that forced Tsukihi to come over here and die to carry her spores. Would you let Shinobu carry, uh, use you as a vessel to carry her spores? Comment down below. So it is a forced and nine nonsensical move. I mean, this is meta. This is so meta. I feel like this is, I feel like this is like saying like, yeah, I know Shinobu showing up here is kind of nonsense and pretty forced, like from a storytelling perspective, just let it slide. Like, it's, it's, oh, did I send a deco? I mean, Shinobu. Like, this, this, that was such a funny line. That was just good, a good meta line. Yeah. But yeah, and I, I really liked what Shinobu said here. Of, um... Oh yeah, the alien? This was so random. Th wasn't that alien literally a meme? It was like when she won't stop sucking after you are to bust. You know, like that was the meme of the alien. A meme just appeared that I re like I recognized from a few years ago in Monogatari. That really tripped me out. Can I turn my turn imagination real? Check. Will a magazine have anything inside? Check. Will water turn into a liquid? Check. Small elephant, big ant, hot guy. Hot guy. Do not teach Shinobu how to summon hot guys. <laughs> All right. Natural phenomena. Spirit's time machine. <laughs> Aw, this was cute. The picture of Shinobu eating donuts. Was telling me what to be careful of and teaching me in a polite, thorough manner. Aw, a little tutor session. But then this I really liked, where she was like, am I only a cute girl? Like kind of addressing that previous thing. And then Shinobu being like, wow, that would be a horrible thing to say to you. <laughs> and it would be nonsense. And I would beat up, and I would have to, you know, beat up anybody that said anything like that. That was a really, that was a really like, kind of like sly and roundabout way for Shinobi to like compliment her, which I, I feel like that's so in character, you know, to like always kind of be a little roundabout and like, always, if, you're, if I'm gonna compliment you, I'm gonna like, <laughs> Hide it, you know? <laughs> yeah, she's calling her a fool, like another fool who spouts such blather. Bring them before me, you know? I'll, you know? So it's like she's calling Nadeko an idiot, but in, but she's doing it in such an affectionate way that, like, you know, it's, it's, yeah. Oh, this line I wanted to find, see again, right here. You rid yourself of such immense power and decide to become a human again. To live a grand life to this day like you're doing now. She's calling her life grand. <laughs> who could write, off, write you off as someone who just happened to be cute? This line. This line cooked, bro. The brightest stars rouse great envy and hatred. So she's saying, yeah, you're going to keep getting a lot of envy and hatred. But every whenever she was saying that wins forth, she was calling her the brightest of stars. That's so sweet. This is also facts, by the way, right? That's a good line. That is facts. Yeah. I'm sure you'd still garner just as much hatred. Yeah, so she's saying, like, no matter what, you're going to gain a lot of hatred because you're a bright star. Which is a really great way to contextualize that. This was so fun, too. All right. Shinobu color code, shadow color code. Yeah. That was really sweet. 
Uh, and then welcome to Specialist Work. She got her job after all. And she still gets to do her manga artist, so it's the best of both worlds. She's no longer a shut-in, right? Uh, and she still gets to pursue the things she dreams of, right? So it's, the, it's a good mix, right? A healthy balance was struck, you know? And then this, 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 I'll end it here, I think. I'll end it here, I think, because I do, uh, do I want to figure out the two, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out the two familiar thing off camera, because it, it would just be me digging through, digging through, like, freaking dialogue for, like, ten minutes, and I don't want to worry about that right now. Um, I'll end it here, though. This was so funny. I guess when there's a snake, there'll always be a ladder. What a dog pun! <laughs> what an absolute garbage pun! to end it with while she looks me in the eyes and it got me perfectly, bro. And it, it, it made me, dude, that made me laugh so hard. That was so dumb. Please look forward to Sengoku Nadeko's next work. Aw, like a, like a, like she's gonna write another work, bro. Aw. All these Nadekos and she's holding the flowers here. Yeah. That's great, bro. Okay, great conclusion to this arc. Um. Really, really happy about that. Really, really big win for Monogatari yet again. This was great too, right? I love preserving. Ooh, that's why I'm recording. That's why. That's the beginning of me saying the, the original choice of me doing reactions was I want to watch these shows, and even if no other person on the planet like watches me do a, like watches my videos, at least I will have preserved those experiences, right? Literally, preservation of experience was my core, one of my core philosophies going into reacting that was, let me do it when I got no views. Cause there was a while that I got no views, right? That's just how it goes. But it was literally, this is what kept me going, you know? So I love, I love that she was bringing this up. Cause that's such a great, that's such a great idea, right? Um, and I totally see how that's like inspiring, but wow. Hopefully you can't hear the cicadas too much. Chat, there's no chat. YouTube audience, uh, that's all I really got for this one, I think. Uh, I will try to watch the next episode reasonably quick, hopefully before number 8 comes out. I'll watch 6.5 and 7 at the same time, because I, I think they pair together well. Um, I also, I know Sengoku wrote, or like there's um there's like an actual thing of Sengoku's manga out there. I think I've brought that up before. I guess I should probably read that at some point. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's all I really got for this one. Episode 6 of Not a Monogatari, 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 Off and Monster Season. On to the next should be exciting. Of course, of course, of course, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah, 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 comment down below if you have anything to say or join the Discord and talk to me other Monogatari fans there. But until then, till the next episode, that's covered. I will be seeing you then. Peace.